it's Erica with Crafts Direct, and today I want to show you a fun project that we've created. I tried a new technique, which I'm really excited about. Um, as you watch the video, you'll see that in the background there is a very subtle pattern going on. Um, and I used for the first time a Distress Ink with a fun blender brush, which is also super soft, and a stencil, which I am usually terrified of, but everything went really well and it was really easy. So let me show you what I did. We are going to start this project out by disassembling the hanging plaque. So we're going to take the three hanging squares off as well as the six metal hooks. Once we've got that done, we get to start painting. So you're going to paint the entire rectangle on the top and the three hanging plaques. We want to go around the edges of everything and the tops. And this should take about two to three coats of paint to cover. Now we're going to take the fun stencil and line it up along the top of that rectangle. We're going to open up the Distress Ink, dab our blender brush into the ink, and then use a circular motion to rub over the stencil. If I were to do this again, I would have taped down my stencil just to make sure that it doesn't move on me. So you'll see me go in a circular motion, just applying the ink over the stencil. You'll continue to apply more ink to the blender brush and then continue to apply the ink to the stencil. Now we'll take the stencil and move it over to the other side, line it up with the marks you've already made. And here I got smarter and I taped the stencil down so it doesn't move on me. And then we're gonna do the same process again. And then we have just a little bit of the board left to do, so we are going to peel the stencil up, line it up with the marks before, and then stick it back down and finish that rectangle. Now we're going to take the Distress Ink Pad and just rub it along the edges of that plaque. It just gives it a little extra color, a little more detail. So we'll go around all four sides of it, just rubbing and pushing the ink onto the sides. As you go around the top, you can position your ink pad at a 45 degree angle and that just helps get the edges of the top a little bit better. And now look, you can see all the pretty shimmery little details you just added to the top of that plaque. We are also going to take our Distress Ink and our Blender Brush and paint the top of that Minnesota. You'll just keep applying more Distress Ink until you get it to the coverage you like. Now we're going to work on applying our vinyl. So we're going to flip the vinyl over and rub the back of the vinyl. We're going to cut it apart, the top and the bottom sayings, just because when we place it on the board we're going to put a little bit of jute in between. So we'll peel that backing off, flip the vinyl over, and then stick it to the board. We're going to rub that down and then slowly peel up the transfer tape. And now we're going to repeat the same process with the word together. Next up we're going to take our eucalyptus spray and cut one of the sprigs from the spray. We're going to shorten that up a little bit so it fits the top of the board better. Now we'll take some jute about three times the length of the board, wrap it behind the board, and then tie it in a double knot in the front on the left side. Here we're going to add in that eucalyptus spray, double knot it, and tie a nice little bow. Now we're going to take our two pictures that we printed off on cardstock. They are four by four and we are going to trace the square tile on top of it. We'll do this for both of the pictures and then we're going to cut it out with the scissors. Now 
We'll take a glue runner and adhere those pictures. And we'll do that for both of the photos. It's okay if the pictures don't line up perfectly because now we're gonna go in with a sanding block and sand the edges and this will take off all of that extra paper. We'll go back with our distress ink and just add a little bit of that brown tone to the edges of our photos. And then we're gonna do the same thing with that middle square. Here we're gonna take a piece of our three ply jute and we are going to separate it so it is three strands. So we're basically going to unravel the jute. We're gonna take one of those pieces of jute and our Minnesota shape, and we are gonna wrap it around the Minnesota twice, crossing over in the front, and then in the back, we are going to do a double knot and then trim the strands. Now we're gonna get out our 3D foam squares, stick it to the back of the Minnesota, and that is how we are going to adhere it to the board. So you'll peel off the little tabs on the back of those foam squares, and then stick it to the board. And then our last step is to take our metal hoops and connect everything back together. When you get to the photo ones, you're just gonna gently poke a hole through the picture and attach the metal hoops. Thanks for joining me for this project. You can find all the supplies that I use to make this at craftstruck.com and go over to our projects page.